Hi friends, my name is Faith Sharer, and today I want to talk about gentleness. The Bible is full of verses that implore us to be gentle. Gentleness is described as a fruit of the Spirit in Galatians. It is a characteristic of an elder in 1 Timothy, and it is also how Jesus describes himself. In Matthew 11, 28 through 30, Jesus says, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus said his heart is gentle and humble. I think this is really profound, and we ought to try to understand what this could mean. When we look at Jesus, the person who walked and lived among people, he was unlike any other human being. In his humanity, people could identify with him, and yet when they got up close, surely his nature and character being divine would shine through. And I believe when people got an up-close look at his life, they realized he had to be the foretold Messiah. Why is that? Jesus was slow to anger, not easily disgruntled. He was approachable and gave people his full attention. He was truthful, but not harsh to hurting people. For example, when he spoke to the woman at the well about her sin, he didn't belittle her. He treated her with a lot of dignity, something she probably wasn't used to from her community. Jesus is extraordinary, and still to this day, when people encounter him, there is something irresistible about his character, his demeanor, his nature. There is no human being like him because he's God and a good God at that. So as we think about being gentle as Jesus was gentle, the first place we must always start is by getting acquainted with our Savior. We cannot become something we are not. We have to spend time with someone who is gentle to become gentle ourselves. So we need to know our Lord intimately. We need to read our Bibles, pray, spend time with faithful Christians who can show us what Jesus is like tangibly. Now, maybe you're like me, and maybe you've known Jesus a long time. You go to church, maybe you read your Bible occasionally, and that's great. Sometimes, though, we need to let Jesus become fresh to us again. We spend so much of our lives doing routine Christian things that the person, Jesus Christ, becomes common and routine too. Please don't let him become common or routine because he is anything but that. Something I've been doing recently is just pondering his humanity while reading the book of John. I haven't been trying to study it deeply, but I've just been trying to picture what he was like as the book describes him. My goal is to just be in awe of him. And it's been really refreshing to my soul, actually. And so I want to encourage you to give it a try too. find at least one way to regularly put yourself in a place to be in awe of him and see his gentle and quiet spirit. He's too good to pass up. So here are a couple more verses encouraging us to be gentle. Colossians 3.12 says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Philippians 4, 5 says, Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. And 1 Peter 3, verses 3 through 4 says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Now with your eyes on the gentle Jesus, go win today. Thank you.